So I'm going to be um, checking out Fields of Mystery on stream. Um, I've been playing this off stream, not too much. But um, I played a bit of it and really enjoyed it. And I think it's something that's worth playing on stream a bit. Since um, it is an early access and I'm very weird with early access games. Like, I'll play them, I'll get through the content and then kind of forget about them. For a very long time. So, that's kind of why I was hesitant to play this, in case I did exactly that. And, you know, I play it once and then never again. But I think that uh, probably won't be the case with this. Because it was pretty enjoyable. It's in the same realm as Stardew Valley. Um, and we've had plenty of those in the past. But I think out of all the ones that have released... Um, this one has stuck with me the most, or at least I've been impressed with the most, and you'll see why. Um, let me just make sure everything's all good. I guess I should probably see how that looks, like, maybe this is fine. I don't mind overriding my old file anyway. Okay, I mean, that scale maybe looks okay. Still working, sis? Uh, island? I didn't realize how late it had gotten. I don't know if that's how you say that name. Island? I thought you could use a nice hot cup of coffee. Thank you. So how is the town revitalization plan coming along? It's nearly there, I think. I've catalogued the earthquake's damage, listed out the various repairs necessary, and even made plans to replenish our emergency stockpile by the end of summer. The only thing we're missing now is the help to see it through. His mother and father called away to the capital and people leaving after the earthquake. There certainly are fewer helping hands around. If only we could attract new villagers to move in. Mystery is such a beautiful place. The small town charm, the rich history of the area, the rolling farmland. That's it. The old farm south of town. Why don't we send a notice to the Adventurers Guild in the capital? Surely someone out there will agree to aid the town in exchange for land with such potential. That's a great idea. I'll get started on it. Thank you, Island. I wonder who will answer the call. Yeah, so here we go. I mean... You know. The customization options for the character are pretty good. No, I took off my pants. <laughs> it's okay. Let's go with that. Yeah, I haven't seen why you set this, but you, you can set your birthday in-game, so I'm guessing it's a nice little detail. 
This is, again, one of these things that it's just... Cool, over Stardew. Um... Sure. They're adding pets eventually. Alright. I think that's fine. Tim, and visually, the style is more of a Game Boy Advance kind of feel to it, which I like. Hello there. Didn't expect to see anyone else out this way. The roads have been a real mess since the earthquake. I'm Bella, a traveling merchant. Pleased to meet you. Let me guess, you're here at Lady Adeline's request. She mentioned someone had taken her up on her offer. She said she was looking for a capable adventurer. There was something about free land in the house. Capable adventurer. We sure could use one. There's a lot to do to get Mysteria back on its feet. I'll walk with you the rest of the way if you don't mind the company. No wagons can get through since the bridge collapsed, so I have something I clicked by accident. Great, let's go. Ooh. We should be able to make it before it gets dark. Come on. We'll head straight to your new farmstead. Lord Island, look who I found at the edge of the forest. Shambles, I presume. Welcome, welcome. I'm Island. It's wonderful to meet you. You're in good hands, Shambles. I'm off to the inn. It's been a long day, and I need a hot meal. See you around. So, what do you think? Nice, isn't it? You're right outside town. Great soil for farming. And look at this house. Four stout walls with a rich history. Let's go inside, shall we? Ah! Just a minute! It, uh, it appears we're not quite ready for you. But not to worry, I'm sure she'll only need a moment. Shall we go in and help? No need! Ah ha ha! You must be Shambles. I'm Adeline. Thank you so much for answering my request. My brother and I are excited to have a real adventure here to help the town. I hope you like your new farm. It has a lot of potential, don't you think? Why don't you come inside? Welcome to your new home. Wow, that was fast. Haha. <laughs> Would you like a quick tour of the room? Sure. Wonderful. This here is your diary. You can write in it when you want to record your story. And this, of course, is your new bed. Make sure you get to sleep by 2 a.m. each day to keep your stamina up. Nothing new. We've also put this calendar up for you. You can use it to check when Mystery holds its festivals to check when everyone in town's birthdays are. And the storage chest was made by Mystery's very own carpenter, Reese. You can store items here if your bag starts to get too full. And that's about it for your tour. I thought you might be hungry when you got here, so I stopped by the inn and picked up a bowl of their famous vegetable soup. Well, I'm sure you're worn out from your long day. We won't keep you up. Welcome to Mystria. We're so glad to have you. Let's meet up tomorrow so we can start discussing our plans for the town's restoration. So 
I mean, this is one thing that, um, the game does over Stardew, for better or worse, like, you know, sometimes it's good that a game just lets you start, but I think one thing I've seen with people I've recommended Stardew to is they're not sure what to do at the start, and I think this does a good job of it, um, but you know, big thing is that you get a calendar for free, which allows you to see what's coming up. Um, yeah, that's better. 4x scale. Okay. It was just way too massive. So the fact that, you know, it tells you all this stuff, it does help a lot. Like, when to be in bed by, all that stuff. Though, it is a lot of tutorial. Ah, you must be Shambles. I'm Celine. It's so nice to meet you. I live in the cottage north of here. I'm so excited that we'll be neighbors. In fact, I brought you a little housewarming, um, field warming present. Here is a hoe. You will need it to till your fields. I love gardening myself, so I had this extra one laying around. If you want to expand your field sides, though, you'll need a shovel. They're available at my family's general store. Here are three bags of tulip seeds to get started. And our store also carries a selection of other seeds, so be sure to stop by. I hope you'll consider growing lots of flowers. Sure. I'm so glad. You know, Mysteria has a rich horticultural history. Morning, neighbor. The name's Hayden. I run Sweetwater Farm to the west. You don't gotta tell me your name, Shambles. You're already the talk of the town. Hayden? You almost galloped straight into poor Shambles. Ah, uh, don't mind my horse. He just likes meeting new folks as much as I do. Yaha! <laughs> Find the pleasure's all mine. If I'm after my own heart, here, I brought you a little something. Take this watering can. You'll need it to water your you'll need to water your crops every day if you want them to grow big and strong. And here are three bag of turnip seeds. Turnips are good raw and they're uh, even better cooked. The whole town will surely appreciate more shipments of fresh produce. It's been a good while since I've been out here. Things sure have gotten overgrown. You need any pointers on getting started with your field? Yeah, I'm gonna just click it, just so, you know, it demonstrates it. So this doesn't assume that you've played a farming game before, which is that's fine. Now don't be shy. Come by any time if you want to chat. I'd love to introduce you to all my animals. I'm sure you must be eager to meet up with Adeline. Just head north of here, and the road will take you right into town. Well, let's just get started on this. I don't want to put it anywhere near the rock, so let's just clear that. Oh, it's like inverted scrolling. That's interesting. I think. Maybe I'm... Coffee hasn't kicked in. <laughs> Alright, I'm good for now. I'm just going to put that away. Just so I'm not carrying too much stuff on me. Okay.
So the one thing that I liked about this, which you'll see. The map shows where people are. So you don't have to really worry. Which is a massive deal. Well, I'm glad I bumped into you. I forgot to mention, make sure that you put anything you want to sell into the shipping bin next to your house. I'll pick up your shipments and leave your payment overnight. The shops in town depend on the stock I procure for them, so we're all looking forward to your business. Gotta get into the habit of talking to people. How are things on the farm? Settled in yet? Remember, I'm just up the road if you need an extra pair of hands. Hi there! I was hoping I'd run into you. Your timing is perfect. I'm sure you're eager to start helping Mystria and its citizens, so I'm here to tell you about our request board. Come with me. As the name implies, villagers post their requests here every day. You'll receive rewards whenever you complete them. It's a great way to earn money, equipment, and most importantly, renown. Renown? Ah yes, yeah, so let me explain the basics. As you know, Mystria is just one of the many towns that make up the kingdom of Aldaria. All of them receive a town rank according to their renown level. Towns with a higher town rank enjoy more popularity and more support from the capital. Mystria's renown level was improving prior to the earthquake since then though we're down two entire town ranks made it to a stream after like three years i want to say it hasn't been three years but maybe it has like i wouldn't be surprised if it has the time stretch of the 20 early 2020s i guess as daughter and heiress of Mysteries Baron, improving this situation is my highest priority. With your help, we'll repair the earthquake's damage, raise Mysteries town rank, and put this village back on the map. Why don't you go ahead now and accept your first request? It's one I just put up for you. Which is just, yeah, get to know everyone. Perfect, that was easy, right? I'm sure you'll want to meet your new neighbors as much as they want to meet you. And as you get to know them better, your journal can keep track of your relationships with them and even document their favorite gifts. And what do you like? Well, tulips are nice and they're in season right now. I hope you'll be growing some on your farm. You can view the map in your journal. It should give you a good idea where people are. Isn't that helpful? And each time you meet someone, it'll update. You can think of this as your first step on our path to restoring the town. Isn't this exciting? Come talk to me once you're done meeting everyone. So like... Okay, it can't be three years. The Pizza Tower came out last year. <laughs> but yeah, Pizza Tower came out last year. I hesitated there for a sec. I'm like, wait. Yes, it came out last year. Um, so this is the cool thing this has over Stardew, is, again, it points out where people are. The two biggest things is that, um... To interact with stores, or anything like that, the... The shopkeeper doesn't have to be at the counter, which is nice. Well, hello there, you must be the new face in town. Nice to meet you. I'm Holt, I've been wondering about who'd move into that old farm. Haha! <laughs> I'm um, peased. Peased? 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 Ah, that's a good one. Anyway, my wife Nora and I run the general store. Our girls Celine and Dal help out as well. Stop by if you ever need supplies.
There we go. Ah, you must be Shambles. Welcome to Mysteria. I'm Nora. I run the general store in town with my husband and our daughters. I'm also the head of the Chamber of Commerce and the Saturday Market. Though unfortunately the Saturday Market has been on hiatus since the earthquake caused the bridge in town to collapse. Balor is currently the only merchant that even attempts to trip these days, and he has to do it all on foot. Okay, we'll help with the broken bridge. Alright, Adeline did mention you'd be helping the town in exchange for the farm. If the broken bridge were repaired, all sorts of merchants could resume bringing their wares to town on Saturdays. You'd love it. Anyway, if you need anything in the way of seed supplies, please stop by. So, again, for early access, like, this is pretty polished in terms of visual look. And, you know, I dig the fact that it reminds me of a GBA game. Um, hold on. So I'm just going to be around meeting everyone. Hello, you must be the new farmer. My name is Reyna. My family owns the Sleeping Dragon, and it's a pleasure to meet you. So what brings you to Mystria, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, farm. That's so lovely. I'm excited to see what types of produce you'll grow. I have a passion for food, especially when it's locally sourced. Well, I hope you stop by and try my cooking sometime. I'll be looking forward to. Uh, was she the only one here? Okay, good. M is for map. Hello there. Well, you must be our new farmer. Adeline mentioned you'd be arriving soon. Delighted to meet you. You can call me Josephine, though I also go by Joe. I run the Sleeping Dragon Inn with my husband, Hemlock, and our children, Raina, Maple, and Luke. Have you met them all yet? Stop by any time, dear. You're always welcome, whether you need a meal or just a chat. It'd be my pleasure to serve up either. All right. Hi, you, the new farmer. My name's Maple. Where did you live before you came here? Have you ever been to the capital? That's where the royal family lives, you know. You can ask me anything. I know all about them. I'm sure you do, kid. Hello, are you the one moving to the old farm? I'm dull. That place is haunted, you know. Haunted with monsters. I swear I saw one hiding behind a tree. Let me know if you have any trouble and I can take care of them for you. Hello, do you like bugs? Yes. Excellent, my name's Luke. I'm so excited to have a fellow insect enthusiast in town. Finally. Wait until I tell my sisters. Now who do we have here? Are you the new farmer everyone's been talking about? Great to meet you. I'm Hemlock. If you ever need a good meal, cold drink, or some good company, be sure to stop by the Sleeping Dragon Inn. There's always a cauldron of hearty soup kept hot for anyone who wants a bowl. All right, who's next? Uh... Wait, what? oh, this like that was weird. There was like an invisible wall here for a sec. <laughs> hey, you must be shambles, right? Nice to meet you. Welcome to Mystria. I don't know how to pronounce this name. I'm pretty sure it's Reese Rias. Ugh. I, I know trying to be creative with the names, but man. Rias Reese. I run the carpet and shop with my uncle Landon. If you have any interest in crafting, let me know. I'd be more than happy to give you some tips. What kind of crafting? Well, woodworking is my specialty. I'm sure you'll want to make things like fences and furniture for your farm. Feel free to use the crafting station near the town square. If you stop by the Carpenter's shop, you can also purchase crafting recipes if you like. Anyway, good luck getting settled in. Let me know if you need anything. Rias. Rias. Okay, and like any game, here's the edge lord. The name's March. <laughs> what do you want? I don't see what that has to do with me. Regardless of what Alan says, we really don't need an outsider to come in and solve our problems for us. 
I, we have everything under control. Just don't get in the way. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, are you the new farmer everyone's been talking about? The one who's come to help out the town? That's super cool. Nice to meet you. The name's Ulrich. My brother and I live at the blacksmith's. I hope we can be good friends. I feel, it's, it's like a trope in these games, just having some dude that everyone tries to fix. <laughs> it's just... So there's, there's that guy, if you're into that. Yeah, I mean, he's the edgelord that you get to know. And then eventually softens up. Hello, you must be the new farmer. Me? I'm the town's doctor. I run our clinic. No need for formalities, though. You can call me Valen. Alright. You too. I hope you're getting settled in alright. Running a farm is hard work. Be sure that you get plenty of sleep and eat well to keep your energy up. That's nice. A doctor that doesn't force you to call them doctor. It's a rare thing. Ah, so you're the newcomer. Is that alright? Well, you can call me Juniper. I recently opened the one and only bathhouse in this backwater village. What's a lady like you doing here? Well, like you, I have my own reasons for being here. Anyway, please stop in often. By the look of you, you certainly could use it. Doggo. His color says Dozy. Dozy wags his tail. You can pet the doggo, so good game confirmed. I think that's everyone here, so... I think the other thing I appreciate about this is the move speed is a lot faster than Stardew. <laughs> so, it doesn't feel like you're struggling as much to get stuff done during the day. This is the game's museum. Hello, are you the new farmer everyone's been talking about? I hear you'll be helping to raise Mystery as Renown. How splendid. It seems we share a common goal. You can call me Errol. I'm the curator of Mystery's brand new museum. I hope you'll consider donating some items. It's a great way to earn renown. You'll even receive rewards for each collection you complete. Let's support each other's efforts for Mystery. Eh? I'll be rooting for you. Yes, I mean, the mu this is kind of a combination of um, the museum and then kind of the bundles. It's a combined idea. So there's not, like, two areas to go donate things to. It's a little bit of streamlining. Can't remember. No, fiber's not part of it. Okay. I'll be back later for it. No one else here? I guess not. I doubt I'll get to get everything done today. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. The little tick box here will show. Yep, yep, I remember. I'm gonna go donate that now. Hey, Rookie. Sorry. I keep forgetting to check YouTube chat. It's like something I'm still getting used to. There we go. Yeah, so it's kind of like the bundle thing in Stardew combined with the museum. Which I'm all for streamlining.
There's not so much forgotten, it's just... I have it open... in a separate tab. Plus, in order to be able to multi-stream, like, Twitch is like, well, you have to be, like, that the, the primary experience is on Twitch anyway. I mean, not that they can police it, unless, like, someone from Twitch randomly stops by the stream, but... It's the only reason, like, a YouTube stream can exist is that. It's like, yeah, you agree to make sure the primary experience is on Twitch. Chicken with a bow. This chicken clocks at you with a regal air. You're sure this must be Henrietta, Hayden's prize winning chicken. Hey, chicken, who's a good chicken? Henrietta squawks and flaps her wings. You don't know Her Henrietta well enough to know if this is a good thing. I'm streaming on Twitch and YouTube. Well, that's always been the case. Like, primarily, I've been a Twitch streamer. The whole YouTube thing was kind of an experiment because... I mean, to be real, I was kind of getting annoyed with the ad the amount of ads that Twitch was showing. So I was like, alright, let me try this for a while. And see if it's any different. The chat experience on YouTube isn't great, but the video player is. But I mean, it's been mixed. Like, the majority of people that watch are still on Twitch. And that kind of fluctuates. It's like, sometimes there's more chat in Twitch, sometimes there's more chat in YouTube. It just depends on the day. Because I'm not usually streaming at this hour, I would imagine, like, it's kind of quiet right now. But I had my plans fall through for the day, and I don't have anything else to do. It's Father's Day today, and... Yeah, I was gonna go hang out with the family, but there's severe weather warning for later. Like, winds are going to 130 kilometers an hour. I'm not gonna convert that to Imperial. Learn the metric system, it's superior. Um, but yeah, it's driving in, in those kind of winds, not a good idea. And for those confused about whether or not it's Father's Day, um, every country, well, not maybe not every country, but let's say Europe, America, and the South Pacific slash Oceania all have different Father's Day. It's, it's because it's an invented holiday. It's not like a worldwide thing. Same with Mother's Day. It's, um, yeah, there's no global standard. Oh my, who do we have here? Campbell's, that's a nice name. My name is Elsie. I live at the manor house with my niece and nephew Adeline in Ireland. Their parents, the Baron and Baronesses, or Baroness, spend most of their time in the capital, especially these days. I once did too. What grand times, but spending times in mystery, you really have to start appreciate country living. Well, be sure to stop by for a chat anytime. I can share the latest gossip and even some romantic advice if you need it. Hi there, the name's Landon. You must be the one Lady Adeline was telling us about. My nephew Reese is around your age. He's taken the lead at the carpenter shop since I retired. We sell everything from crafting stations and furniture recipes to farm buildings and home upgrades. Stop by anytime. All right. Is that everyone? One person missing. I don't know who.
We say people should celebrate Children's Day. It's a thing in some countries. Um, in Latin America, a lot of countries have Children's Day. But I mean, you can argue Christmas is more for the kids. Not sure who I'm missing, but I guess I'll probably tomorrow. I can't remember if the museum closes. I think this is one of the things that I like about it the most is just... Um, someone doesn't have to be at the counter use it, which is a big deal. You don't have to be like, oh crap, I need to get here before it closes. It's a pretty nice thing in terms of the pacing. Or the case of, um, oh man, in Stardew, Clint, or the doctor's office, like, closing at, at three, and Clint on Fridays just deciding to go stare at a wall. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. After he finished the community center, he goes and stares at a wall on Friday. And then it's like, well, not allowed to upgrade tools on Friday. So, it's nice. Hang on, can I do shift? Yeah, shift, cool. I'll keep these. that out for tomorrow. Let's see if there's any foraging I can do while I'm out. That's a tree. Okay, I thought it was a mushroom. But I mean, outside of, you know, the lengthy tutorial to start, which I don't mind, because that's the thing with these games is sometimes people don't know what to do. It is skippable. But I think it does a better job at um, setting you up and letting you know what is around. All right, let's just go to bed. Oh, one really nice thing it does, when it flicks over to the next day, if someone has a birthday, it pops up right at, like, on that screen. It's really good at letting you know, like, what's on. Like, I was finding myself not checking the calendar as much. Ah, good morning. When I was here the other day, I noticed something suspicious about this tree. I believe it's covering old stonework. As head of the Historical Society, I thought I'd investigate, but this old bark is proving to be surprisingly tough. Okay. It's kind of funny, this dude decides to come and chop down a tree right near my house at the crack of dawn. It's like, kind of rude. Yeah, that's, that is to say, Errol, Perithia, and Ulrich, when he can remember. I'd be delighted if you joined us. I think I need a moment. Alright, give me the axe. Oh, by all means, here you go. You can have my axe. Inc 
incredible. This is a statue of Caldarus, the mythological guardian of Mystria. Our ancient ancestors used to worship statues like this one. What an incredible find. Shame about the head, but with a little help from the newest member of the Historical Society, I think we can see him as good as you, if you would. There we are. Then you just love the sense of achievement. I believe that reconnecting with Mysterious Past is the key to our future. This has been a most productive morning. Thank you for all your help. Please keep the axe and do let me know if you stumble upon any intriguing archaeological finds yourself. Okay, um... That'll come into play later. They already visited the museum, but that's fine. Ugh, I'm still getting... I think the scroll wheel thing feels a bit weird, but it's fine. Okay. Spend my energy doing this. Oh, that's not strong enough, I don't think. I'm guessing that bounce back noise is, yeah, not strong enough. extra energy I'll, I'll eat. Alright, put this stuff away. Actually, I'll bring the axe with me. Alright. I gotta find the last person that I need to talk to. I'm curious who that is, then. Oh, okay. Maybe? That's... Deep Woods is locked. Alright, I guess I'll go bottom left? No. Oh, there. Okay, yep, bottom left. Still be here. Oh, here we go. Ahoy there! I'm Terithia, and who might you be? Ah, that's right. Adeline mentioned her plan a while back. I didn't realize someone had taken her up on it. I run a little tackle shop out by the beach. I sell fishing rods and a small selection of freshly caught fish. Feel free to stop by. I have to save up for the fishing rod, I don't have enough yet. 
Okay, well, that's it. Now, I gotta turn it in. Okay, that's a museum donation. Not everything is a museum donation. Lady Maple welcomes you to Mysteria and accepts tribute in form of cash or snacks. Okay, you got me. I'm not Lady Maple yet, but I still accept tribute in any form of snacks. Many insects live in the tree. If you give the trunk a little shake, sometimes they'll come and say hello. I don't have a net yet. Welcome, welcome. I assume this is about my letter. Excellent. In my talks with Lord Island and Lady Adeline, they entrusted me to concern myself with objects from antiquity, as well as to use the museum to showcase the many unique specimens of Mysteria. To wit, if you could bring me not only your archaeological finds, but also plants, insects, and fish of the region. I believe together we can create a museum that's one of a kind. You want my crops? You want bugs? Indeed, I will display the items you donate so that visitors from far and wide can appreciate what Mystery has to offer. And do not think we would be ungrateful. There is a generous reimbursement policy set up by the Historical Society, Renown, and all kinds of rewards. Would you like to view the museum tutorial? Yes, do it. Yeah, so, I mean, pretty straightforward, right? You can check the museum wings at the ledger to see completion statuses and reward hints. So, I mean, it's nice that it lets you know if you donated stuff or not. Let's get digging. Splendid. As an official surveyor, let me give you a small stipend to welcome you. Okay. Cool. Alright. Uh... That, that. Oh, I think I'm, I'm gonna complete this one. That thing is just outside. Alright, well, that was quick. Treasure chest and a hat. Um, hang on, how do you do this? Oh, I see. You don't, yeah, you unlock it. Okay. And then you can just freely do this. I mean, that's nice. This just reminds you of the Harvest Moon cap, so it's cool. Put that outside. Have you met my darling island Adeline? I'm their great aunt. Well, not by blood. Some of us are simply born aunties, you see. where she is. I keep forgetting this. Alright, she is in... there. Got it. Turn it in. You finished meeting everyone in town? That's wonderful. Congratulations on completing your first request. Here's your reward. I gotta go plant that. Mystery prides itself in being welcoming, so don't be shy about saying hello to your neighbors. Everyone's so excited to see someone new around town. 
I know you've only just moved in, but I was hoping you could keep an eye on Celine since you're just down the road. She only recently moved out to her own place, and the mother worries. Do a bro a favor, talk to Ulrich. Um, get fennel. Okay. I think I have one in the storage. Oh, it's you. If you need help with your new garden, go bother someone else. I'm busy. Sounds nice, isn't it? Friendliness can be a little overwhelming at first, but you get used to it. Turn in. Thanks for taking my request. Now, where did I put that pickaxe? Ah, here we are. He must be the blacksmith. Ah, ha ha ha, I just help out around here. I actually used to be a miner. Then the earthquake hit and we had to close the mines. If you want to know more about the mines, you should talk to Errol. He used to be the mine's foreman, but now he's our museum's curator. I respect him a lot. He's way chiseled. Oh, that's right, I wanted you to have my old pickaxe. Breaking rocks is a great way of getting toned. It's a little old, but should be strong enough to break small rocks. If you want a strong, stronger pickaxe, you'll have to forge it or buy one from here. I'm glad you'll be putting this one to good use. These days, I help out my little bro March around our family forge. He's a great blacksmith, but... Uh... He's a little, well, not, like, great with other people. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, March. Hmm. Well, enjoy your chit-chat with my brother, but try not to waste too much of his time. Ulrich, come to my room when you're done. I need you to look over a blueprint. <laughs> Sorry, he doesn't mean it. So, um, as for my favor, if you could, like, give March a chance, that'd be cool of you. He doesn't, like, have a lot of friends. I'll talk to you later. I mean, dude's got... Pokemon antagonist vibes. I can clear this out. Make sure it doesn't destroy... Farm. Oh. I thought... Okay, no. This is a loot chest. Never mind. It's not a storage chest. That's sorting. I don't think there's a quick stack. What was that aim? I'll sell this. I think I'll just spend the rest of the day doing this. It might be easier to play with a controller, I don't know. 
just... I appreciate that it lets you aim one tile in front of you, but... I'm often missing the thing <laughs> that I'm trying to aim for. At least with a control light, it would be just whatever's immediately in front of me. I've been playing this on my ROG Ally X. Um, it works pretty well on it. But I kind of reached a certain point where I was convinced, alright, maybe I should stream this. Oh, right. Okay, see, that's nice. There's no extreme penalty for reducing your energy for nothing. At least not yet. Maybe that'll be a thing eventually. Fish are biting today. It must be something in the water. Hang on. I guess I'll go check in with people. I work part time at the general store. I hope you'll stop by when you can. Gotta remember to be social. You know, I admire that you've taken over the old farm. Thought about it myself, but I live too much by the seed of my plants. Holt surprised me with a dinner date, isn't he sweet? It's a good thing Nora doesn't have trouble with dairy. I don't know how we'd make it work if she couldn't handle my cheesy jokes. Ah. Okay, bad humor. There's that fresh face. Hope the town's treating you well. How do you like the town so far? Nice, right? Don't forget, if you're looking for good food and company, the Sleeping Dragon Inn's got you covered. You can find artifacts all over Mystery that can be donated to the museum or sold, but I really hope you'll donate them. It's always fun having new people in town. We used to be a much livelier town before the earthquake. I hope you're the first of many. You can dig up artifacts with a pickaxe or shovel. Either one works well. You must be working so hard on the farm. Are you eating enough, sleeping enough? Don't stay up too late. I kind of bricked it. With the energy, but that's fine. Oh, it's just a bedroom. So, I mean, another nice thing about the interactions that I notice is... If there, there are multiple people hanging out, they kind of chime into the conversations. It's not like you talk to one person and then you're only having a conversation with one. I know what you're thinking. I wasn't expecting to spend my hottest years in this podunk town, but here I am. Oh, just me, hmm? You're new here, so I'll tell you a secret. There's so many adventures in Mysteria. Out for a late night stroll, it's a great way to relax before bed. Have you broken rocks around your farm? Sometimes there's insects. Give me, give me a net, kid, and then we'll talk about that. I guess that's it. Oh, hang on. Did I turn them in? Fennel. I'm gonna go look for fennel. Get you in town. I'd like to give you your first checkup. Don't worry, it's free. We're not unreasonable here. Hopefully, I can find some on the way home. Someone's got a birthday, so I'll save this for that. That's fennel. All right, got it. Um, maybe it's too late to go gift that. I'll go see.
I'm still not completely used to this map. Okay, good. Oh, wow. Oh, is this the fennel I requested? Thank you so much. Here's my recipe for spring salad. It really highlights the flavors of the season. Okay. That's nice that they're up late. <laughs> Just... In Stardew, everyone, at this hour, you can't turn anything in. That'll keep these around, and turn in. Sleep. Well met, mortal. You're the guardian, Dragon. I am Kaldaris, the guardian of Mystria. Thank you for repairing my shrine. Ah, uh, I have been asleep since. Well, I can't seem to remember exactly. Even now, my mind is shrouded in fog. Magical essence has begun to flow again in Mystria. Of that much, I am certain. I ask you to extend your assistance once more, mortal. I need you to collect this essence and offer it at my shrine, so that I may rega regain my strength. I hereby bestow upon you the ability to sense and collect essence. You should find it naturally when going about your daily tasks. Would you like to view the skill perk tutorial? Yep. Gather essence from activities such as farming, fishing, mining, and more. Interact with Kaldaris to view the skills perk menu. Click the perk to see its description. Purchase skill perk with essence to unlock it. I grow tired. Let us speak again tomorrow at my shrine. All right. Sleep now, mortal. We will speak again soon. Hmm. New reward available in the reward chest next to the request board. Okay. Damn. Okay. <laughs> what are... Oh. Probably the bundle completion. Alright, so it doesn't look like there's an extreme penalty for, um, wasting your energy. The start, it makes you walk slow, and then also the next day you start with less energy. It's... It's not great. I'm sure you've noticed the state of the bridge into the town when you arrived. I'd like to introduce you to a group of us that are spearheading a repair plan. Could you meet us at the bridge east of town? Yep. Ah, greetings, mortal. The time has come for you to begin collecting essence. Essence will appear in the form of small purple orbs as you go about your day. Try activities such as farming, fishing, and mining. You'll be sure to find some. Use the shrine when you want to offer collected essence. In exchange, I will use my restored power to grant you skill perks. These skill perks will serve to make your life easier for you. I grow tired. Let us speak again tomorrow. Okay, not yet. Oh, wait, Q. Yeah, so, I mean, this is the cool thing about it. Um. I mean, how it differs to Stardew. Stardew, you're leveling up. 
um, the particular skill by doing activities in that skill. Whereas in here, it's like regardless of what you do, you can pick what to level. So even if you're mining, you can choose to dump everything into like farming, for example. Which is kind of neat. Um, but I haven't really done much with it. And check them out, but I think it's a cool system. Because then if you get really proficient in one thing, you can use it to level up other stuff, which is neat. That's not, not for a bundle. Hey, we were just getting started. You know, Adeline, you know I'm up for this, but this is a big project. You can rely on me to keep Mistria supplied with the basics until construction is done, but I can't work miracles. Without the bridge, I can't even get my wagon in and out of town. And there's only so much I can carry on my back. I've allocated all the resources I can for this, but the earthquake relief from the capital hasn't been as robust as we had hoped. I've talked it over with the other merchants in town. We're happy to contribute funds. You've got our backing. That's wonderful to hear, Nora. However, with the whole kingdom in dire need of repair materials, we can't afford the inflated prices on the stone and wood we'll need. Okay. Wonderful, I knew you were the right person for the job. Gathering materials locally would definitely speed things up. That farmland of yours is loaded with high quality stone and timber. If you're willing to do the gathering, we can compensate for the materials. By my calculations, 60 stone and 60 wood should be enough. Sounds right to me. I'm sure you'll come through, and with the repaired bridge, we'll be able to get to the Saturday market up and run- Oh, we- bleh, I can't even read. Saturday market up and running. I'll set up a donation box here at the bridge for you to deposit any gathered materials. Come talk to me when you're finished, and we'll begin the repairs. We're counting on you. Yeah, I'm gonna work on this. Okay. I need to get a supply of food. Oh, it's the newcomer. I suppose I should be thankful. I was the newcomer until you arrived. This fiend's got someone new to fuss over. Gotta check out money, money, money. Yeah, so I mean, unlocking cosmetics is nice. A turn up, I will accept. I don't have that yet. Yeah, again, just being able to interact with the stall without anyone being here is, is the best. Uh, what's the cheapest? This is the cheapest. Buy two of these, and... Oh, I suppose I should talk to people. A thoughtful strike with a pickaxe is a great way to move any furniture you've placed. I wonder who figured out you could do that in the first place. I know to some mystery it might seem like a tiny backwater town, but keep an open mind. 
It has charms the capital can never offer, you'll see. That old farm has been derelict for quite some time. It makes my heart swell knowing someone will be taking care of it again. Welcome once more to Mystria. I wonder what fresh produce they've got over at the general store. Maybe I'll drop by later. Alright, let's get some stone. If I can get the rest of this today, it'll be good. I'll see how much I have. Okay, so I have... 20... That's pretty close. 38 and 32. The aim is, is a little strange. I'm still getting used to it. Nearly there. One more. Okay, consume stew. I like this because it doubles up as like progressing the town, but also cleaning up the farm. off rookie. All right, no worries. Thanks for popping in. Have a good evening. What time is it? Oh, it's, it's so weird being around at this time. Ooh. Right. I gotta pay more attention to the energy. I think that's one thing it needs, is like, when you're approaching low, having an animation play out. It needs, like, an indicator of, hey, you got, like, less than 10% energy left. I was kind of relying on that appearing. I need to get used to it. Okay, 60-60. A lot of bites, but no side of the big one. I'll catch him one day. I was lost in thought about an old flame, Rodrigo. A beautiful light in the chandelier of my life. Salutations, you must... You seem to be acclimating nicely. The people here are lovely, are they not? And now we can count on you among them. I imagine you're very busy getting situated, but 
I had wanted to ask, have you had a chance to see Mystria off the beaten path? There are ruins and artifacts to be found everywhere. This land is rich with history. I haven't yet, but I will. Okay, that's the resources required. Now where is she? Alright, she's at the end. What's up, Edgelord? I know you just arrived, but I wouldn't get too comfortable. Then judge March by his first impression, or his second impression, or maybe his third impression. I guess you gotta judge him at some point. Now that you moved into Mysteria, it's only a matter of time before my oldest will have you taste testing her dishes. Raina gets everyone eventually. <laughs> oh. Are you finding your way around town alright? Making friends? Do you have enough to eat? Don't forget, take a big bowl of soup from the inn's pot. Raina charge changes the recipe late, uh, daily. Jeez. I have. Hey. Ah, I hope you're not spending your early days here overworking yourself. Not all time has to be spent productively. Leisure is good, too. I can't remember when my feet started aching after a long day at the shop. The years do catch up. I know you're the new farmer and all, but don't get jealous. I'm the one in town who's known for being corny. <laughs> hey there, what's up? I've gathered what we need to repair the bridge. That's great news. Come on, let's go tell everyone. It's time. Let's get this bridge repaired. Nice work. Now it's my turn. Just let us know how we can help, Reese. Rice. Reese, Rice. <laughs> Rice. Are we done? Feels like we're done. We sure are. This bridge is going to last a long, long time. Great job, everyone. I'll let the Saturday market merchants know that the bridge is repaired. Let me help you, Adeline. Together, I'm sure we can guarantee that Saturday will be market day in mystery again. Cheers to that. Okay. Dun dun. Have you made any friends yet? My nephew, Rias Reese, also moved here pretty recently. Bet the two of you would get on like a house on fire. Isn't a, a house being on fire a bad thing? How's it going clearing the farm? Finding cool rocks. I'm only asking because I'm a rock guy. Okay. Keep an eye on the request board. I occasionally post jobs that are suited for an adventurer like you. I can assure you that they'll be lucrative for the both of us. What? Bridge is repaired. And I already congratulated Reese. He did a great job. What? You want a pat on the head for doing the bare minimum? Nah. You mean like... Hitting 60 rocks and... 60 pieces of wood? That's the bare minimum? Ooh. Chickpea. I'm going to need a bigger backpack, for sure. Okay. 
I'll just see what I can find when I'm out and about. I think it's like the stuff that makes sense to hang on to. If I can make food with it. I guess I should take the Animal Crossing approach and sell the shells. try and buy the fishing rod. I forgot how much it costs. Again, this is just nice that I can... 500, all right, cool. I can just walk in and buy stuff at any hour. That's really nice. back for this. Just harvesting it so it falls on the ground. I think I got enough of these in storage. So I think I need a cooking pot. Alright, anyway. So there we go. That's nice that it does that. I'll do a manual save as well. I guess I don't need to do that. Um... Clean up around the farm. It's probably a lot more stone than anything else here.
just looking outside at the moment. <laughs> just at a certain point, it's going to turn into horrible weather. Probably enough for now. You feel compelled to talk to the statue. You've helped repair the bridge in town. Well done. I'm sure the other villagers appreciate your efforts. Yeah, so there we go. Prepared picker. What does it do, though? A day well spent. Going to bed with the zero stamina gives... A stamina boost the next day. Oh. Planting a seed sometimes will also water the soil of the targeted tile. Watering a crop will sometimes refund the stamina used. Yes, I mean, it's, it's neat. Archaeology, cooking, fishing, ranching, woodcrafting. Harvesting a forageable will occasionally drop a seed version. If it, I reckon this one. It's a cool little skill. Um, this is probably... Oh, 20. Okay, not quite. We're getting more seeds. That's a good way to progress. I like... I like that, um... It rewards you instead of punishing you for using all your energy. That's... Again, it's adding to just little things that I kind of like how they've done it. Okay, he's up there. I want to afford my fishing rod, so I'll try and sell what I get today, where possible. So I might go in there in a minute. Okay, he's still there. Oh. Just went back indoors. Wait, how do you do this? Oh, gee. To me, you knew it was my birthday. Thanks, this means a lot. And then... Where's the journal? I make friends with the dog as well. I guess it was just neutral. The register's always open, if, even if no one's around. The town works on an honor system. And besides, I know where you live. <laughs> no, honestly, probably one of the best things about this game is just that. Just having the freedom to just be able to to look into things whenever. 
Despite the rain, Dozy appears to be clean and fluffy as ever. Good doggo. If it isn't the talk of the town, I suppose I have to hand it to you. You're willing to get your hands dirty. Feel free to use the bathhouse to clean up. I don't want to spend money, so... Because I want fishing rod where possible. I'm just going to forage. Snowdrop anemone. Okay. Oh, there we go. Cool. I got the bug net now, too. And then it was all like whoosh. And then bzzzt. And I was like, wham! Ooh, amazing. Ah, you came. Are you ready to become an entomologist? It means someone who studies insects. Yeah, that's what I do. There are a lot of cool bugs in Mystria, and Mr. Errol at the museum agreed to have a whole wing dedicated to them. I'm so excited. So are we. Until now, Luke's been bringing all his finds back to his room. But it's a big job, being the only entomologist in Mystria. Will you join me? Sure. That's what I like to hear. I want to give you my old net. It's brought me lots of luck over the years, but I think it's time to pass it on to a new generation of bug catchers. Look at that form. Don't forget to bring any new bugs you find to Errol at the museum. Please don't bring them here. It's gonna bring our health rating <laughs> down if you do that. Yeah, hang on. I gotta sort my batteries in my headset. Because otherwise, it complains every 15 seconds. Okay. Be sure to tell me about any neat bugs you find. Alright, cool. All right, that. I think I have one of those. Oh, there's one. Yo. Caterpillar. actually very subtle. I thought it was a background element until I realized what it was. Okay. Um, let's store stuff I'm not gonna use. vibe of this is like super cozy. I should probably go... Eh. Might make a trip to the beach later. So an ant doesn't count, apparently. 
As a representative of Mystria, it's my responsibility to get you oriented, so if you have any questions, please ask my sister Madeline. Adeline, sorry. Unless you're looking for the best suites in town, then I'm your man. Okay, she's over there. Another ant. Oh. Went past it. I'm so happy you would taken over the old farm. It was long neglected. I can't wait to see what you do with it. Do you like this? Hmm, thanks. Didn't like it. I won't lie to you, Elsie. I could use a glass of wine. Juniper, dear, you're among friends. Turn in. Oh my, thank you for going out of your way to deliver the snowdrop anemone I requested. It's beautiful. I was thinking of growing some myself, but I simply haven't found the time. I think these seeds are better off for you. Enjoy. So hang on. How did that go with her? It's interesting, it doesn't look like there's a concept of hating an item. Hey, Vanna. Sorry you're late. There's no such thing as late. It, it's fine. How are you? seven of these let me sell that many off um get the hut out Somehow the ant sells. And this is... They sell for a bit. I'll be able to get the fishing net tomorrow. You had company today for once? Oh, okay. What'd you get up to? I've had my plans fall through to today. Today is Father's Day in Australia, but, um... We're gonna have dinner as a family... But that's not happening because there's like a severe weather warning. S super strong winds, which probably doesn't make it the safest to go drive. Um, because yeah, I live pretty far away from it. I guess not as far away as it could be, but it's at least an hour drive. And they're saying avoid driving if possible. And they kind of live in an area that has a bunch of trees, so... We decided not to risk it. They got postponed until next week. Labor Day weekend? Oh, okay, cool. I've never understood Labor Day. I mean, I know why it exists, it's just more of a... You don't actually do anything specific for it. At least not here. That's sad. Yeah, but, you know, better safe than sorry. So, I decided to play this and just kind of chill. I'm enjoying it so far. Okay. 
Most people go to the Lyco beach. Ah, okay. Yeah, I mean, here it's just you kind of go out and eat. I should go home. Tomorrow I'll have my fishing rod, so I'll be able to fish. I can afford it tomorrow. I mean, I'm sure these will come in handy. I don't think they're worth selling. <laughs> That's just one go. I suppose if I have a stack of 50, it gets me 50 gold. Your neighbors are partying. You can hear the music. As long as it's not late, late. When you say neighbors, how far away are they? Friday night at the end. Okay, cool. Because it wouldn't be like me when I say my neighbors did like pretty close by his apartments. You can hear the music pretty far away. Mysteries, emergency supply reserves. Okay. Uh, gathering at Friday, uh, 6 p.m., got it. Um, one sec. Go to the manor. Okay, and I need a turnip. What's also nice is these don't... At least I haven't seen one that has, like, a time restriction on it. You're in a house, but you're not good at measurements. Yeah, that's fair. But I mean, like, if you were to walk to your neighbor's house, how long would it take? That's a good way to get it. For me, it's like to walk to a neighbor, right? It takes me maybe 30 seconds the moment I leave the door. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. It's like, if it takes you more than a few minutes and then you can hear it, that's, yeah, that's pretty loud. Not far, but not beside. Gotcha. No, Australians are very good at knowing vague measurements. Sometimes people get annoyed <laughs> at that that aren't used to it, but... Like, an Australian will never be specific about things. Like, if you ask him how far away something is, they'll be like, oh yeah, not very far. If you ask them how much something costs them, it'll be like, oh, it was either wasn't too expensive, wasn't cheap, wasn't too bad. But they'll never really say anything. I didn't realize it until someone kind of pointed it out. It's like, you know, you're not very specific and descript. But it's just an Australian thing. I can turn in multiple things. Oh, your timing is perfect. I was hoping to finish up my annual spring crop yield report. Now let's take a look. Yep. This one is one healthy looking turnip. I'll go ahead and check this off my list. And then maybe make a salad. Thank you so much. Here's your reward. Thank you. The whole town will be at the end tonight. Hope to see you there. 
loving this weather. All the birds are out there doing their thing. Everything's looking good for the market tomorrow, and I can enjoy in night without any worries. I'll be at the end this evening. Lord Island's been so excited to play the, his new game with us. Okay, I got a new cosmetic. Very pink, the hair. Yeah, I like the character designs in this. Bring a single piece of stone. Okay. Attractive and extremely talented bathhouse owner seeks a gopher to find and hand over a lilac. Okay, sure. I can do that. Can't say I've met anyone that has that kind of pink hair. I mean, in real life, right? Like, I know people that have done the pink hair. Okay, lilac and then single piece of stone. I'm gonna go turn this in right now. Um, okay, so she's up. Where is that? Um, okay, he's up. That's fine. He's where he needs to be. Again, I like that I, I can know where everyone is. Oh, this stone is really cool. Not everyone has an eye for it, you know. Yeah, I found this cool chair in the mines one time. I'd like you to have it. Oh, it's furniture. Okay. I mean, yeah. Oh, okay. It's just here. Yeah. And then... Well, well, how to learn this little request board scheme actually works. I'm impressed. Now follow me. What are you little gremlins doing here? This character kind of reminds me of Shantae. I wonder if that's intentional or not. Not, not these kids. That super gross smell. If I knew baths could make you smell like this, I wouldn't try to avoid them. It's like stink armor. Yeah, her. She kind of reminds me of Shantae. What's in the cauldron isn't for the bath. It's for a health tonic. With one sip, you'll be instantly refreshed. No one is going to drink that if it tastes as bad as it smells. Ah, but I have yet to add the final ingredient. Shambles, if you would. There we are. That unfortunate smell has cleared right up. Don't you agree? It either smells like wet socks or fertilizer. I guess... Wet socks? An obvious improvement. Now, who to test it on? Ooh, ooh, me, me. While I admire your enthusiasm, Del, I think we should reward the intrepid adventurer who retrieved the final ingredient. Ah. Okay. Well, I'm dead. Cool. Hmm. Very interesting. The lilac appears to have inverted the potion's intended effect. Shambles doesn't look too good. We should go get Dr. Valen. Ah, there's no need to get that woman involved. Now here. Why don't you toddle off to the bath? It's on me. You got poisoned, go have a bath, it'll clear out the toxins, it's fine. I think this is just teaching you the fact that the bathhouse can restore your health completely. See kids, right as rain, and to make sure there's no lingering effects, your next five bathhouse visits are free. 
Gee, that's nice. Who would ever want to take that many baths? Yuck. Thank you again for your assistance. I'll be sure to call on you again in the future. Now, why don't you all scoot out of here? I need to do a post-experiment write-up. Are you sure? We could help you come up with lots of ways to describe how bad it smells. Hot garbage. Dog burps. Doggo. <laughs> Making caramel apple cookies at 10 p.m. I mean, they sound good. Something that would go well with like a morning coffee. I haven't tried baking myself, but I imagine I wouldn't be good at it. I can cook, it's just baking is like a whole other skill set. Because you really have to do things in a methodical way. Otherwise, the slightest mess up just ruins it. There's no fixing a baking disaster. Whereas in cooking, there's certain things you can do, unless you completely burn the thing. Like, there's always a way to somewhat salvage what you've done. Fishing rod. Got it. Diving? Okay. I mean, it, it, it does take, like, elements of Animal Crossing as well, which I like. It's a bug. Come here. Treasure chest. Broccoli seed. Alright, cool. Oh yeah, this is like straight up Animal Crossing fishing. With the exception of um, the indicator. Like Animal Crossing doesn't give you the indicator. Hey! <laughs> Take the bait. Okay, I guess there's no bait. It's like just a bobber, but still. I think you're pretty decent at baking. Okay. I mean, feel free to share a picture in Discord when you're done. If you want. I just, I guess, if I wanted to get into it, the problem is I need to get, like, a mixer and stuff like that, which... Uh, the storage space in this apartment is... virtually non-existent. The stuff I would need to kind of get into it, I don't think I have room to put it store anywhere. That's part of the problem. Also doesn't help maybe that 
In terms of sweet stuff, like, unless I'm having it with coffee, I really have to be in the mood for it. Oh, it's just pre-made dough. Oh, okay, gotcha. You can't angle it. to the farm. None of these are... Nope, not bundle fish, or museum fish, I should say. You're real good at making pies. Yeah, when I hear that, I, I know exactly what you mean when you say that, but just the difference in what a pie means here. When you say pie for to an Australian, it's, it means like a, a savory pie, right? It's usually meat or with vegetables and stuff. I can't say I've ever had a fruit pie, you know? Like the stuff with l a lattice pattern and that sort of thing. The stuff that you see in movies. Coconut pie is great. Do you just put coconut in it and nothing else, or is it like a mix? I think the only pie I've had is like apple, but that's pretty basic. Oh, it's not the season. Yeah, pot pies. Yeah, I mean, the, I guess the pot pie is more or less what I'm talking about is, um, what is a pie, effectively, to an Australian. It's like, if you go to a sport game, um, instead of hot dogs, like, you'll have pot pies. Little hand pies. much time do I- oh, there's still plenty of time in the day. Oh crap, I forgot about the tavern. I should be okay. It's Friday night. I forgot about it. Oh wow, everyone's here. Welcome to our inaugural session of Dragons and Drama. I'll be striving to provide a historically accurate experience, but if I slip on any details, speak up. I wrote a backstory for my character. She's a druid, and she can talk to flowers, and she loves nature, but I don't get what to do with all these numbers. Follow my lead, Celine. I set all of these use useless stats to one so my mind can be 67, which you would think is impossible for a starter character, but if you look at the rules section 107, paragraph 2, you'll see that. Ah, uh, Adeline sure does know her stuff. Look here. I'm whittling out some miniatures for the game. This is Celine's druid, Daffodilia, and this is Adeline's wizard, Moonsilver, and this is Balor's thief, Snicklefritz? Me? I'm Bad Brad, the bearded bard. Please call him by his full name. Ugh. Is this what I get for arriving late to the cards table? I have no idea what's going on, or why everyone keeps calling me Snicklefritz. Hit me. Ooh, sounds pretty confident, don't you think? Is it Reese or is it Rias? I don't know, I think it's Rias. I wish I could say. I just deal cards, man. 
I'm in for 50 more tesserae. Oh, ho, ho. That bluff won't work on me. Are you quite certain you don't need any more cards, Nora? Are you sure you don't need any more cards, Errol? Now, now, let's keep it friendly. No need to get worked up. Hey, guys, four of a kind is good, right? Or should I hold out for five of a kind? Guys? I like that they converse with one another. You made it. What did I tell you? It's a full house. Why don't you go around and see what everyone's up to? Oh, and here's your free drink. Has to be fruit juice. Sometimes I can't tell if those two are friends or enemies. I suppose it isn't too important as long as they share a drink. <laughs> Island has been talking about his game for weeks. I hope the others are excited as he is. Here's the edge lord. Or oh, not you. These folks and their games, I like to really sit with a drink and appreciate it. You know what I mean? Certainly. Better to turn your senses to one thing and give it attention it deserves. Isn't that right, young March? This guy's the... Ah, come here, come here, I let you in a little secret. You're not so bad. <laughs> what was I saying again? Okay. Get him drunk and he'll be nice, got it. Oh my, it seems a young blacksmith is a bit of a lightweight. It's because he's drinking the cheap stuff. Just like you, Valen. Having no palate is nothing to be ashamed of. Here, try some of my wine, you'll see. I suppose you've had plenty of time to refine your taste, but as a doctor, I simply can't recommend drinking at home, alone. A girl can't get a little sloppy on a Monday night. This is why you have a reputation for being stiff. I have a reputation? Come here and sit with me. The girls are fighting. What fun. Oh, it's like a mix of things. I haven't made one in a while. Yeah. I, I, again, other than apple pie, <laughs> fruit pies, I haven't really come across anyone that makes them. But then again, I suppose in terms of people that I know, they don't really tend to make pies in general, like different kinds of food. The coast is clear. Now, before we tell you anything, you have to pinky swear you won't tell anyone. Because we're planning a heist. Luke is the brains. Del is the brawn. I'm the face. And you're the courier. And our target is... Mr. Bala. His secrets, more precisely. Why does he always keep his door locked? Is it because we keep trying to go in there uninvited? We're going to find out. Meet us here next week. Coconut cream pies and pumpkin pies, what you like. The idea of a pumpkin pie still weirds me out. I guess because I associate it with a vegetable. But I get it. The end is so full. This is what I call a successful night. Thanks for coming by and being part of it. I think that's all the conversations. I get that the, it's like carrot, right? Like carrot. You can make it taste sweet. But still weirds me out a little. But I guess it's because that's just not a thing you can find here. At least easily. Stupid fish, turn around! <laughs> it, does, it just keeps swimming further up. Oh, what is this? I feel like I'm being trolled by this fish. There we go. Sturgeon. Animal Crossing fishing. 
Ooh. Okay, I'm low on energy. Alright, I'll do. Again, I like that this doesn't punish you for using all your energy. Uh-oh. I got 20 seconds to get home. Get in bed. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. You hate fishing on Animal Crossing? Is it because you're like me and not patient and more often than not you accidentally press it at the wrong time? Or when you cast it and then on the first tap it just decides to be like reel me in? This one's alright because an exclamation point appears so you, it's obvious when you have to pull it in. All right, lots of progress today. Saturday market. Oh yeah, I need to get the watering can out. Am I blind? There it is. Jeez. It's all that stuff. Yeah. Figured. This is not that bad. This is fine. It's a nice middle ground. Daisy absolutely insisted that I send you an extra token of apology for nearly knocking you out with my experimental potion yesterday. Here's a magical object that you might find useful if you can figure out what it does. Weather crystal ball? I can place it. Oh! Yeah, it's like a weather report. I put it out. I probably should have put it inside. Alright. Please meet myself and curator Errol at the museum west of town for the mines. Saturday market is in town. Okay. Hang on. Then I should do a swap. Okay, cool. I can move it. Again, I like the, the look of this game. It just reminds me of Game Boy Advance. Okay, everyone's here again. Shards? Okay, I don't know what that is. Alright, oh, go to the manor house to meet with- okay, I need to do that too. After this. Look, Darcy drew Dozy in the foam of my latte. So cute. It's too cute to drink. My signature drink, hot chocolate, extra marshmallows. What? I generally recommend against stimulants, but the pleasure of coffee is undeniable. I want coffee! <laughs> I love Friday nights at the end. It was so nice to see everyone relaxing. 
Darcy's coffee runs out quickly. Don't be shy. You wouldn't want to be latte to the party. <laughs> Hello there. Welcome to Darcy's Cafe. Yes, I'm Darcy. If you're ever in the mood for a nice cup of coffee or a sweet treat, be sure to stop by. Everything is made fresh. Peaches and cream. Strawberry shortcake. I mean, this is a lot. Scone. Poached pear. Moon fruit. Salted watermelon. I've heard that's good to do. Um, wild berry pie. Chocolate cake. Cranberry orange scone. Coffee. Espresso. Roasted rice tea, mushroom brew, which I've heard is a thing. I didn't know that there was like mushroom coffee, but there is. Coconut milk, iced coffee, hot chocolate, cranberry juice, latte. Got the latte. Let's see what it does, if anything. I won't drink it yet. Moon hair clips. Oh, it's just cosmetic sale. I'm getting new haircuts. I'm fine. I'm wearing a hat, so... Hello, if you're looking for a new hairstyle, you're talking to the right person. The name's Vera. I'm a traveling hairstylist. I've been all over Eldaria. I'm happy to teach you any hairstyle. I know, just... Oh, right. Just pick what you want. I'm good. <laughs> I like your haircut. It's so you. I'm wearing a hat. The first time I sat down with Vera, she couldn't believe the condition my hair was in. That's what life on the road will do to you. My nephew, Rias, uh, Reese. <laughs> I'm gonna find out how this is pronounced. Was talking about dyeing his hair blue. Might be a good look on him, come to think of it. Swing by my farm whenever you like. The animals are friendly, and they love meeting you people. Oh, but it's no rush. I'm sure you've got plenty to do, what with... Getting the lay of the land here in Mystria. My wardrobe and bookshelf are a matching set that I got from Mary's shop. They're both made from a wood that's not native to Mystria. Maybe Celine would know something about that. Alan loves to comb Mary's store for mysterious antiques. Sometimes they're much older than anyone thinks. I wonder if Miss Mary has a tiny dresser for sale. It's for my pet spider, of course. She has a lot of socks. Welcome to Mary's Antiques. I'm Mary. I sell all sorts of furniture here that I source and restore myself. The selection is always changing. If you see something you like, snag it before it disappears. Okay, for decorating the house. Um, which is nice, but it's, ex it's gonna cost me way too much money. Mary had the cutest set of planters for sale. I wonder if they're still around. I'd rather stand than sit, so I didn't really get why Joe was so crazy about the armchairs we got from Mary, but my baby is right, that's a comfortable chair. Mary always puts the nautical bits and bobs aside for me. What a nice girl. Kya ha ha! Honestly, I don't get fashion much. Lewis is always pumped to pick for me, though. Lady Allen bought that dress over there. Do you think Mr. Lewis will make it in my size? I don't really need new clothes right now, but this blazer does look nice. I like to commission a new suit from Lewis once a year. <laughs> Terrible business. Lewis, Lewis's banishment from the capital. And all that over misunderstanding. Still, he's really found his footing traveling the country, and he hasn't lost his touch one bit. Lewis says, I'm a trendsetter. That's nice of him to say, but I just put on whatever feels cute. <laughs> Greetings and salutations, my name is Lewis. If you are looking for an article of clothing, you may rest assured that I personally cut and sew every garment you'll find at my booth. My stock changes with the week, so if you find something you simply have to have, don't wait. Yeah, again, costs too much money. <laughs> I'm not spending all my money. Um, so, wait. Talk to Nora after you've introduced yourself to the vendors.
Ah, she's a. Thanks. Isn't the market great? Here's a reward. You can buy something from a favorite stall. That's not enough to buy anything. I guess I bought a coffee, so whatever. It covers the cost of coffee. Your request is reasonable, but I suggest we add a sleep aid to the list of medicines. It keeps well. We ran sh short in the days after the earthquake. It'd be a weight off my mind to know we have extra stock. That's a great idea. Our first aid supplies should cover all the bases. Excellent, I'll get to work. Get a pitch in as well. Many hands make light work. I'll leave you to it. Thanks for answering my letter. I've sent out personal requests to anyone who might be able to help us rebuild our emergency stockpile. I don't like to think about what might have happened without it in the aftermath of the earthquake. Unfortunately, it's pretty much used up. All right. If only we could stockpile your enthusiasm too. Could you ship 10 crops to help our food rations? I'll give you these seeds to get started. Locally grown crops keep well and they're filling and nutritious too. I think we'll all sleep easier with emergency stockpile refilled, don't you? Okay, so just shipping. Okay, that's that. Meet Island at the museum. Yeah. Actually, I should go back to the farm and plant these first. And the cookie's disappointed. Yeah. It's fair. I don't think I've ever made cookies from like pre made dough, or cookies in general, other than in high school. I'm more of a savory snack person. Was it one of those things that just, it sounded good, but then in taste it wasn't great. The people in my time had a saying they passed down through the generations. Don't forget there's a jump button. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I guess I definitely want that skill. What's the jump button? Oh, oh. Okay. Good to know. Drinking the latte. I mean, I think my character moves pretty quickly already, but this is nice. Hold on. Favorite cookies are seasonal sugar cookies that's pre made to, and they have pic got pictures on them. Uh, not sure if I know what you mean. I maybe do, but just the description's escaping me. 
Thank you for joining us. I hope you haven't roped shambles into your schemes, Island. What's this about? I believe the time has come to discuss reopening the mines. Island, with all due respect, I believe we should be focusing on the museum. We don't have the workforce to reopen the mines in a commercial capacity. Whereas the museum is drawing interest from as far as the capital already. I believe it is the surest way to raise Mysteria's renown, which should be our top priority. We are in agreement that the museum should be our focus, Errol. However, with the arrival shambles, I believe we now have the perfect person to begin exploring the mines. Shipments of ore would be invaluable to the town, and there are surely incredible artifacts just waiting to be discovered in the depths. The more dangerous the adventure, the better, sure. That's the spirit. While I appreciate the enthusiasm, I simply can't approve of a reopening at this time. Structural damage, or seam slippage, the elevator has stopped working. And I've been hearing strange sounds from below. Ooh, eerie music. Surely you're not keeping the mines shut over some eerie noises, Errol. Uh, I would be happy to reconvene on the matter when Mystery's town rank has reached at least Stone Star rank. That would satisfy you too. I can't. I can see there's no budging you, Errol. Well, at least we have a goal in sight. Okay. Sending in items for museum sets, completing requests, and shipping items are all the way you can raise Mysteria's renown. Let's get to it. The mines will be reopened in no time. I'm glad to see you so enthused, Island. You're not good at words. Nah, I mean, sometimes things are hard to describe and sending a picture is usually the easiest way to do so. Alright, like I can't articulate things sometimes. There are days where I'm on my game, and then there are days where it's just English is hard. I thought I was going to do mining, but I guess it's not available. Um, I'll go back and get the fishing rod. I didn't notice there were scarecrows or anything like that, so I might buy seeds as well. Strawberry. Ones? Oh, but like... It's probably worthwhile. I can buy a tree. Good trees. Perfect. There we go. Uh-oh. Um... <laughs> fell on the ground. <laughs> um, I'll find the place to plant. Alright, there's an honor system in this town. It's okay. Quickly. I don't know why I keep thinking this is like a store. <sighs> I'm just gonna clear some land. Oh, 
probably here. So I'm directly in front of the house. Um, I probably need this as well. <laughs> Am I timed? Timed? What do you mean? Like, is it day timed? shows the radius um and then there we go all right two fruit trees okay i'm gonna go fishing for the rest of the day Confused? Nah, that's fair. Okay, that's a museum donation. I'm getting used to how this works a little more. Can I cancel it? Okay, you can. Donate. Oh, do you have to do things by a certain time? Other than seasons, you know, um, like crops expiring when the season ends. Um, not really. Quests, they're not timed like they are in Stardew. But, like, you have two days to fulfill something, which is kind of nice. But then there's, you know, the day ends at 2 a.m., so as long as you're in bed before then. I think the cookies are making you nauseous. Oh no. Are they too sweet or just that it's something about the taste? For some reason, in these kind of games, I always just lean into fishing, just because it always seems to be the most profitable thing. Okay, I'm going back to the farm. So this will reward me for using all my energy. Let me just spend the rest of my energy real quick. What 
But I saw a bug there. Okay, that's all my energy spent. Too sweet, caramel too strong. Yeah, that makes sense. It's like... The kind of thing where... If you were to try and eat another one, you wouldn't be able to. Like, you just have this feeling like you're not full, but you don't want any more. Oh, all right. That's stone ranking. What's tomorrow going to be like? Okay, breezy. Cool. Congratulations on stone rank. Copper bar. Um, I guess I'm not doing fishing. Like, I'm going to go try and set up mining. In regards to the mines, Island has informed me that Mystery's rank has been raised to Stone Star. I have agreed to meet with him to further discuss the mines. Please meet me at the mines entrance. Okay. You want pickles now, but that wouldn't mix all. Um, I mean, you can have like a palate cleanser. And then it'd be fine. So it doesn't, uh, seem bad. I'm stuck indoors, so, like, I, I guess I should get some snacks or something. They had Doritos cheap for once, so I got Doritos and other things. for now. Alright, no worries, Vanna. Well, have a good rest of your evening. I'd need to get a backpack upgrade. What a joyous day. Mystery's town rank improvement shows that we're on the right track. Well, I just think if we leave the mines closed, we can continue to focus our efforts on other town initiatives. Errol, we both know the town's growth will not continue without a reliable source of stone and ore. New artifacts for the museum would be a boon too. I can see there is no dissuading you two. Alright, alright. We shall proceed with the reopening. Be careful. The earthquake has revealed cave passages beneath the mines that are yet unexplored. I trust you're ready to handle whatever lies below. Keep your wits about you. For mystery, uh... Good luck. I will do what I can to assist the both of you with your finds at the museum. With the main, the main shaft collapse, you'll need to take the ladder down to start your descent. The elevator isn't working, but Errol believes if you can rediscover the elevator platforms further down that it can be restarted. Incredible, another dragon statue? This wasn't here before the earthquake. 
looks like the statue on my farm. Ah, seems the archaeologist bug has bit you too. I need to confer with Errol and begin a thorough search of the mine's history. It's hard to believe that there's no record of this statue. I hate to cut and run so soon, but this is of immense archaeological importance. Will you be all right on your own? Best of luck. We're looking forward to your findings. Okay. The crumbling statue emanates a faint presence. It seems that you can offer essence here, despite the statue's condition. I'm fine. Okay, exploring the mines is a great way to find new materials, forage, fish, insects, even treasure. Break rocks on each floor to find a ladder, allowing you to progress further downwards. Alright, so it's Stardust thing. Don't forget you can jump and swim as you explore. Every five floors will unlock an elevator platform, allowing you to travel quickly. Proceed with care. Magic seeping into this world has turned inanimate objects into monsters. Upgrading your sword and armor will aid in your progress. The entity statue can also be used to purchase helpful mining and combat skill perks. Yeah, so I mean... Very familiar. But I guess there's jumping. I need to look into a backpack upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if there is one, maybe... Yeah. Let's see what I can do with what I have. What is that? Oh, it's an artifact. Yeah, this is a problem. Twenty, okay. Should take this. Perfect copper ore. It's just display. This is pretty neat. Damn it. Monster shell. Okay. I'll try and get to the fifth floor and then just come back up. Definitely need a bigger backpack if I'm gonna do this. does a lobster all heal? 150, it's not worth eating that right now. Can I just drop?
Ugh, I want to put it down, but I don't think I can. That's a bummer. I guess the flower. Oh, wait, this is a cosmetic? It might be a cosmetic. There we go. Okay, never mind. Monster Fang. Okay, keep going. There we go. Elevator. Okay, I gotta come back. I, I need to... See if there's a way to get an upgraded backpack. Tell me there's a storage upgrade. Thank you for helping repairing the bridge. Be sure to stop by the Saturday market. Yeah, that's not what I'm interested in. Shipping bin. There are scarecrows, but it looks like it might be cosmetic. Bag upgrade, a thousand. Okay. I need to work on that. Otherwise, it's going to be a struggle. If I would have known I would have kept the money that I had. Oh well. It's alright. Getting that money shouldn't be too hard. find. Okay, that's another museum donation.
while I'm here. I may as well. Okay. I have to keep an eye open for that stuff. Whoa, that's a big fish sh shadow. Don't know if it's going to... Ooh. Paddlefish. Okay. Well, I'm out of energy. Unfortunately, i got to donate it, despite it being worth a lot. I'll see what I can forage on the way home. Right now, I'm interested in the money, so I'll just sell those. They're fine. I'm going to quickly go to the beach and see if I can get anything. Shells. Okay, there we go. Oh, it doesn't let me. I'm out of energy. I don't want to consume the lobster all just to catch that. So close. Tomorrow I'll definitely have enough for the backpack upgrade. Okay, these are done. I guess I've got to take one of them over. Uh, 
All right. I'll see if there's any new quests first. Wait, what's that? Maybe I should have read what it was. It looks like it increased my resources, so that's fine. Bring March Copper Ore, fine. Bring a Miner's Pickaxe to Ulrich. Okay. Nice to see another early riser up and about. Not me in reality. Since I'm going back anyway. Okay, so he wants three copper ore. Oh wait, I have the money now. Okay, there might be a change of plan. Oh. You didn't see me eating on the job. Okay, I have to destroy the evidence. <laughs> By the looks of it, it looks like it's going to have a lot of potential for upgrades. Hide and seek is a little different when Maple's hiding. She doesn't really hide, she just commands us not look at her. I see you looking! Little Luke, we're so excited to see you take up that bug net. It's all he's been able to talk about lately. Okay, where is the edge lord? There you are. What the? You you completed my quest? Fine. Let's go get your reward. There, now scram. I've got work to do. Good to hear you back at work, March. I guess that means someone completed your request? Lady Adeline, uh... Yes, it does. Happy to help out. Oh, how wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. I have an idea. As an extra reward, why don't you give Shambles a quick lesson in blacksmithing? Doesn't that sound like fun? Ch sure. Blacksmithing is a craft that takes time, skill, and good materials. With enough practice, anyone can be a passable blacksmith. But a true artisan like myself can take it a step further and infuse the metal with new power. You aren't ready for that. Would you like to view the blacksmith tutorial? Sure. Open the blacksmithing menu by interacting with the... Oh, you got to specifically come to this anvil. I hope I can make an anvil at home. It's like what you want to craft on the left side. That actually takes time. Makes sense. Okay. Go on, pick it up. You're giving it to Shambles? How generous, March. I. Y yeah? Sure, why not? What did I tell you? He's a big softy, really. I'm sure he'll be happy to let you use the forge whenever you want to work on your blacksmithing. I, I, fine. I have other work to take care of.
Okay. I can actually go explore the mines now. Now with the extra inventory. Oh, but I don't have the pickaxe with me. Go back. Raina's setting the venue today. She's so reliable. Hemlock and I are lucky. I kept trying to get out of Lord Island's little game, but he made me a character and everything. Still, what kind of name is Snicklefritz? I guess since I'm heading back anyway... Selling anything? No. Just here to get this pretty much. Alright. Notice it does that sometimes. Not all the items get pulled to your character. Wait, do I need to water the trees? I'm kind of assuming Stardew logic here. Doesn't look like I have to. Okay. Ah, okay. There we go. That's one of the missing bundle thingies. Good timing. I can donate it while I'm there. Seeing if there's anything else to harvest. I guess I gotta purchase more seeds. Make sure I get all the spring crops. It's still early on, so that's fine. At least I got the most expensive one already. Alright, in we go. Ah! Oh, okay. I see. Wait for them. No. <laughs> Monster core. Being careful. Okay, next floor down. It doesn't look like there's a parry ability, but maybe that comes later with leveling up.
Monster powder, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. Is there anything else? Oh, there's probably some more stuff over here. Ow. Hey. This fishing as well, so I should probably try for that. Ah. Uh-oh. Consume lobster roll. Dude, that took a while. Ah, oh, the fish got scared. fishing in here. Cave eel? It's already 9.30. Okay. Probably just be able to get to the 10th floor. Faint whisper breaks the silence. Hero, help. Uh, it's all well and good. <laughs> it's late. <laughs> Alright, leaving. I'll see what combat skills are available. Okay. 
bit of mana donation. It's not uh, something I need to donate. May as well for the money. Just making sure that I spend all my, my energy. Okay, bring this out with me tomorrow. figured out crafting yet. Alright. Bedtime. I bet I need a specific bench to do it. You've been hard at work around mystery, oh. The magic returning to me through your efforts has begun to clear my mind. Okay. I am grateful. I have now recalled a particular spell suitable for human use, as well as the means by which to bestow it to you. It will now grant you the full restore spell. You'll be able to access it from your journal. As the name suggests, casting it will fully restore your health and stamina. Your mana will restore bit by bit each night after a spell has been cast. Use it wisely. Okay. You're most welcome. Practice your magic and continue to hone your abilities. We'll speak again soon. Okay. To unlock a spell. Use an unlock spell, select it and pin it from the magic page in your journal. Press and hold the button prompt indicated on the pin spell to cast it. Different spells require different amounts of mana restores every day. Okay. If you're lucky, you might come across a potion that restores the mana instantly. More mana orbs will unlock throughout the game to increase your maximum capacity. I need to make sure I've got seeds purchased. The recent donation of mushrooms from the mines jogged the memory. Find and close the recipe. Okay. Ballard delivered his shipment of potatoes this morning. We're so excited to have produce in. Please accept us as thanks. I guess I can put the watering can back.
stone bench. Oh, this is actually a bench. Three blueberries. And I think I got some. I don't have any shards yet. Okay. Ah, uh, there we go. Progresses time. Hmm. I'm not sure I like that. I kind of like how you could just walk away and start and just let them do their thing instead of forcing you to sit around. Does going to ask you to take her into the mines next time in case she asks? Absolutely not. I guess this is the only one I don't have yet. Alright, let's do that. Just if you want to craft like a whole bunch of them at once, I don't know, just eating up part of your day instead of just letting it be this thing that you can just set and forget. Okay. Um, do we have combat? Archaeology, arranging, woodcrafting, blacksmithing, cooking. I guess that's all at that. Yep, that's a good one. get this out for a minute. Someone wanted these. She out. Apparently there. Okay, they're all at the general store. Oh, she's heading back. Oh, are these the blueberries I requested? Thank you. These will make some great blueberry jam. Here's my recipe. Okay. Ah, another day in mystery. Oh. <laughs> the sleeping dragon inn is awake. I'm gonna go forage on the other side of the map. I 
just get the feeling I'm missing out. By not doing this. Probably look like gifting that flower to someone. Bet she likes. Hang on. Let me try something. Hmm, thanks. She didn't like it. I was least teaching us about some of her exploits. She's such a role model. The Countess didn't give me flowers until the morning after. Can you believe it? It was so memorable, so roguish of her. Wow. Haha. <laughs> this cauldron sure is fascinating, huh? Okay. Museum fish. That is strange. I was kind of expecting every fish to be something that you don't have to donate, but I guess not. I swear if this thing <laughs> just leaves the map. Hang on. Oh yeah. I keep forgetting this is a thing. Like you can do this. Okay, there we go. That's something I can go donate. Another donation. One more. Ooh, big fish is there.
Ah, come on. <laughs> it moved. Don't you dare move back. Stop. Come back. Quick, 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 quick. Okay. Good, I can sell it this time. As long as I have enough of food to go into the mines. Big fish, come here. Eh. Up. Oh, I mean, I dig that it has the Animal Crossing diving thing. Crab. Oh. Uh. Yeah, that's a donation. I should be able to donate it and get home. That'll still be there tomorrow. I need a new chest desperately. <laughs> okay. Ulrich's birthday, all right. I'll just have to take a chance. <laughs> I'm just gonna give flowers until I know better. Ah, 
Oh, I forgot the watering can. Keeping these for presents. Alright. I've been thinking about what a big task it is to get your farm back in shape. If you can bring me 10 wood, I can give you a quick overview on how to start crafting and things you'll need, like fences. Alright. I think I have 10. 10. Okay, where is he? Looks like he's at his house. Alright. Hopefully he doesn't move by the time I get there. Bring a catfish. Okay. blind? I think he's in the middle of town. Early mornings are my least favorite time in Mysteria. Everyone's so cheery, like they're about to break into song. If you have any questions about Mysteria, I'm your guy. Been living here my whole life and then something. Wait, that's not right. There we go. <laughs> Looks like you're ready for your crafting lesson. Come on. I just need to get a few things together first. <laughs> so this is where you'll be crafting today. Feel free to use it any time. There's also a crafting station in town, and you can even buy one from us. Yeah, I need to do that. Anytime you want tips, you only have to ask. I think you'll find being able to make your own fences handy. You can even use them to section off your land to keep your farm organized. They'll keep your chickens out of your corn and the weeds from overtaking your fields. And they're great practice too. You'll be on to bigger projects in no time. Ready to get technical about how to craft them? Alright. Okay, so you can only do it from a crafting station. Yeah, this is the thing that I'm not so sure of, is, like, the fact that it spends your time. Okay. Instead of it being instantaneous, but I guess well, it's fine. Nicely done, I'll say. Let's have you make a few more sections of fence while you're here to make sure you've got the hang of it. Actually, while I'm here, how much is a crafting bench? I 
thousand for a kitchen, a thousand for a crafting station. Okay. But I kind of need both. I should probably work towards that. Sort of indicated whose birthday it was. Spring ten, that's him, right? Yeah. Okay, hey, Ulrich. There he is. Between you and me, you really helped march out of a tough spot with that coffer. Okay. Um. Give. Birthday present. Oh, yeah, it is so party time. Did he like it, though? Well, apparently not. I mean, it's fine. There's no hate system by the looks of it. Island, that devil. He got the mines open, did he? Let me know if you come across any gems or precious stones. I sold some already. I'll even come across the other foraging item. See, I did level up the passive. Beesh. Come on. I'm gonna recast. Hey! I like that it only takes the energy from you if you catch something. What's she doing here? Everything's greener after the rain. It's my favorite time to walk outside of town. 
big fish come here oh <laughs> I got a sunfish <laughs> okay cool I'll go do that that Shrimp. Okay, another donation. school fish here. <laughs> A school of uh, wood. I was lied to. Alright, I need to eat something. Is that what I think it is? Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm getting rid of that. It's fine. I need to go donate this. Just hmm. Hang on. Oh, it's just in my inventory. Cool. Hardwood. I can totally go for like the full harvest moon look here. Yeah. I might do that. Um, where is it? They say strange things are found in the mines. Strange means rare, and rare fetches a handsome sum. I'm a little torn about that perfect copper ore in the museum. Nice that people can appreciate it, but a chunk that size would make a handsome set of bracelets. Oh, they even comment on the stuff that you're donating. My bro works really hard. I wish he would just rest as hard. It's good to see you out and about. A day like this is meant for enjoying. I'm going to the spa. Hi, welcome to the bathhouse. Oh, it's you. Talk to Dozy. I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> I like this doggo. That'll be a hundred. Ah, uh, just go in. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed your bath, but remember if you feel any ill effects such as light headache, insomnia, or sudden tail growth, it is merely a random coincidence. Okay. Sure thing. Yeah. 
Hang on. Wait, what does this button mean? Oh, oh, cool, you can even... You can set a preset if you want. I like the customization options in this. Okay, we need to make money. Half <laughs> Um. Oh boy. I guess hang on to the hoe and then just do that and then I'll just place these. Some good fencing. The increased flow of magic from the mines has begun to clear my head a bit. I recall that magic was once widely used by the humans who lived here. In fact, I believe I had granted much of that power myself. Apologies, I wish I could remember more. Um, don't have enough to level that up. Ding up peat, sod, and clay sometimes will drop the double the amount. The cook time for all recipes will be reduced by 10 minutes. Okay, so it looks like just any crafting in general is gonna cost time. Hammer timing. Okay, do that. I spied a paddlefish at the museum and figured that was your doing. What a funny looking creature. They used to say that the paddle was for digging, but it's not the case. A sea scholar told me that. Any more fish? Okay, there's fish here. Oh. Sure. I got a little bit of time left in the day. No, but I have energy still.
One more, one more, one more. Okay, heading home. Just following what I do in Stardew. Just... From any point in the map, it should take like about a minute to get home. Um, the problem is that I want to hang on to it, but I don't have room. Should probably look up either buying a chest or crafting one. Day tomorrow. Go donate that. I guess crafting bench first, then I can get a chest. Are you still clearing out your farm? Have you found any monsters? You gotta tell me if you do. The Dragon Guard helps anyone in need. I was so excited when I saw the copper nuggets beetle at the museum. I'm not allowed in the mine, so it was my first time seeing one. It's true, they do look like copper nuggets. Another day, let's make the most of it. Request for a caterpillar. Okay. Always see you running about. That energy is one thing I do miss about being young. Of course, now I can nap whenever I want. I suppose it balances out. I wouldn't call March gracious, but he'll remember that you ventured into the mines for his copper. Probably, I think. I do appreciate that you can just buy stuff from this store without them being there at any time. It's such a big deal. Um, crafting station. Okay. And I guess I'll chop some wood. I dreamt about sweet Frederick last night. Oh, he wasn't like today's men. He knew how to work a paratites. Shall I go donate first? I think I have one lying around. I kind of forgot to do it. Morning. Let's both find some time to do a little fishing today, yeah?
Ooh, this is a big crafting table. Okay, hang on. I guess put it outside. I can always move it. Okay, 15 wood. No, that's a dresser. There we go. Okay, nice. 30 wood. Alright, let's go. Then I can start the process of organizing. I also like that there's none of this nonsense where, like, grass or anything gets in the way it stops them from growing. The big deal. clearing stuff from here. enough yet. Not yet. How many? Oh. What does that mean? Saw four? Oh, it's like my... I see. Carpentry level. Ooh, okay. But I need it. I uh, guess I have to buy a chest then. I desperately need need one. Like I, I can't go without one. <laughs> I'm not sure about like having that be so high level. The game's in early access, so it could change, but I feel like chess, or maybe not a chess, but like some form of simple storage should be something you can get early on, because I've already run out of space. I mean, you can, you just have to pay for it. They don't sell chests here. Interesting. Maybe the general store? I'll go see. Guess since I'm here anyway. Let's see if she likes this. Hmm, thanks. Rain, rain, go away. I could do it with a spell, but I'm so sleepy. You like to ask how Dozy and Juniper met, but you can tell he won't blab. <laughs> Back again, are we? Maybe I should have fed that potion to gel.
Hope you enjoyed your bath. Yeah, yeah. Same thing. Oh, this is the doctor's office. There we go. Okay. That's not too bad. I thought it was going to be more expensive. That's okay, then. You can't place it there. Um, what I'll do, I'll move anything that's considered cooking into this chest. That right? Okay. That's not cooking. Okay. And then also I can store tools that I don't want in here. Not that it's as much of a problem right now, but... There's the watering can. Okay. There we go. I'll save for the cooking station. Donation. Another donation. about the fishing that I'm not a fan of is like you can't angle it like you can in starter. It's only just dead on straight. Or at least with this rod, maybe something later down the line lets you curve it. Free food, nice. <laughs> okay. Hopefully that'll work. So that reminds me I need to go back to the farm and I assume I still have the turnip.
Ah. I haven't enough time. Probably not. Forgot about these. That is food. Movement speed is a lot faster in this, so maybe I'm fine. As long as I have, like, about a minute to get home. Out of my way. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. for now. I'm kind of hungry, so I'm gonna thought out maybe an earlier dinner. Um, but yeah, this is an initial look at this. I'll do more of it. It's in early access, so there's a lot to change, but for an early access game, it's got quite a bit of content, and it plays pretty well. So I'm enjoying it. Um, but yeah, we'll do more of it soon. If you're checking this out later as a replay, I hope you enjoyed as well. And if you want to support the VODs channel, just click the like button. It helps a lot. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching.